Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It's another dark, dreary, rainy Friday here. I know a lot of the country got a ton of snow, but we're getting a ton of rain, um, which I guess is better. I don't know, but it's just so dark and gloomy out. But anyway, I did make a trip to the Dollar Tree, and I want to share with you guys what I found. I was so excited to find some new things. Um, actually, these I picked up, these... Um, I found in where they have like the picture frames and things and are these signs and look how thick this is now if you remember they had like the double sided ones for Christmas these are like double the thickness of those and I thought even if you don't care for the sign I think these would be great for doing some craft projects with because this is just really nice it's really heavy um, these are let me see let me measure this real quick so I can tell you about how long they are so about 12 there. Uh, what am I doing? They're about 18 inches long. And they are an inch thick. So, and that's that MDF stuff. You could build lots of things with this stuff if you wanted to do some really heavy duty crafting with them. Uh, but I thought those were great. And this one has gray with like, it's like a powder blue writing on it. Let's just take time to enjoy life with the little bicycle. And then I also got this one that says life begins with coffee. And it has the same blue print. They had a couple different other ones. I don't really remember what they said on them. But I picked up these two just because I thought these would be great craft things to work with. So that I found in there. And also in that same aisle I found these frames. Now I want to do something with these for Easter. This one says happily ever after. Um, I want to change that up. has little clips on the back where you can just pop them out. And it has these really pretty wood beads on here that I thought would be great to do in some Easter colors. And since the frame was already white, I don't think I have to do a thing to the frame. So I did pick up two. They're exactly the same. But I am going to change these up for some Easter decor. <clears throat> so I thought those were really pretty. And, um, yeah, they're just, they don't even call it a name on them for anything particular. Alright, so then I was so happy to see the Easter stuff out because besides Christmas time, I think Easter is the second favorite decorating crafting time I have because, you know, it's springtime, you're excited, the colors are so pretty, and I just love decorating for spring and Easter. But they had these. These are actually the Crafter Square section. They're not actually listed. I guess it is kind of the Easter. Yeah, it does have the Easter logo on there. But these are these giant pom-poms that you could use for, like, little bunny tails. Um, these would be great on some like gnome hats and stuff at Christmas time. Um, they're just a really nice size. They're really nice big pom poms, and you get 18 of them. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Now I did find a whole bunch of wood items, and I still think Dollar Tree is your best bet as far as these crafting supplies because these are quite pricey, like at Michaels and things. But they had these 14 piece little eggs that you can decorate for uh, craft projects. I did pick up two packs of those. You get 14 in there. And I know similar things like this, like at Michael's and stuff, are like five, six bucks. So, and I thought these guys were just adorable. Look at these little wooden chicks. You get 14 of them in there. And they're just so nice. Um, yeah, stuff like this at Dollar Tree is definitely worth $1.25. So I got those, and then they have these little bunnies, and you get 14 of those, too. Um, oh, somebody's got a broken ear in there, I think. But yeah, they're really nice. And they're small. They're, um, I don't know what I did with my ruler again. I keep burying it here. I'd like to tell you guys how big these are. These little bunnies are about, I don't know, like an inch and a half by about an inch tall. So they're just a cute little size. So I got the bunnies. And then you get 14 of the carrots. And these will be just little great little add-on pieces, I think. So, still thinking your crafting supplies like that at Dollar Tree is well worth the $1.25. So, I picked up two packs of the bunnies. Now, these are the larger ones. You get eight pieces in here. And these come with little jute strings and things. But these are always great to decorate up for Easter. And then I picked up a pack of the little wooden chicks, and you get eight of those also with the little jute strings if you want to hang them or something off of a basket or a gift or something. They would be really, really cute. 
So I got those. And then I found these. They had these with the different letters. I picked up a J. Um, of course, I wanted to maybe do Jody's Craft Room and JCR, but I couldn't find all the letters. So this is fine. I'm going to do this J. And it has a little spot here for like a bunny tail. And then the top of the J is like bunny ears. And they had a whole bunch of different um, letters, but of course they didn't have all of them. That's always my luck. And then I found these signs. I think these are really, really nice. Um, I wish they had these pointing in different directions because I think this would make a great little sign for outdoors. But they all point in the same direction, these little arrows. And this one just says Egg Hunt. It has the raised, you know, little wood letters on there. And what are they calling these? Just decor. And then they had this one I thought was so cute. This one says Carrot Patch. And look at that little wooden bunny on here. And then it just has some little stamped, you know, like carrots and things growing out of the ground that you could paint up. And then the letterings, you know, it's just printed on lettering. But I just thought those were really nice. And then this one here, too, is the back of the bunny. And it says Bunny Trail. But I wish they were kind of pointing in different directions. It would make a great little yard sign. But I guess you could, if you wanted to, try to get this off and flip it around. But I don't know. I don't know how hard that would be. Sometimes they come off real easy. If you heat them up with like a heat gun or a hair dryer, you can kind of get these little pieces off sometimes. And then other times they're just really a pain to try to get off. But I thought they were super cute. And then I found this little uh, bunny tail pick, they're calling it. I thought that's cute. These things look so precious, like in a little flower arrangement of some kind. If you just have this hanging out of the pot, you know, it looks like the little bunnies digging in your flowers. But I did pick up one of these. They're really, really cute. Some of them you had to really watch because I may need to add a little more hot glow and stuff to these because a lot of them are just like falling apart. But I just thought that was adorable. So I got one of those. And then I found a whole bunch of really pretty ribbon. Um, let me dig these out of here. I got them all stuck in my little container here and get them in order. Let's see. All right, there we go. So they had a whole bunch of these little gingham-looking um, ribbons. This one is pink and white, and the glare in here is awful because it's so cloudy out. There we go. We block some of that light. Um, that one's real pretty, too. And you get three yards, and it's the 5 8 inch, and that's more like a satiny ribbon. And then I got it in the green. Ugh, this lighting is terrible here. And then I also got it in purple. Come on, focus camera. Ugh, I hate when it's cloudy. It is The lighting in here is just awful. I have two lights on each side of my table here, but I have also two nice windows in here. But when it's cloudy, it's just not nice. They have the blue. And then I got this one here that has just Easter eggs. And this one is... Um, hmm. Hang on. Oh, 5 eighths by 9 feet. And I like that one with the eggs. And then this one I thought was really pretty with the purple. Almost like a plaid. And that's the same. That is the 5 eighths by 9 feet. And then these little guys here. Oops, no, there's another one. I also found, oh, this light. Um, this one's pretty yellow. There we go. And that one's also... Um, three yards. All right, and then I also found this Rick Rack. I don't know what they're called. They're just calling this ribbon, but I found it in a pretty, pretty purple. Oh, this glare is driving me crazy. Pretty purple, and you get three yards of that, and then I found it in the blue. That's a really pretty blue, too. It's showing up dark in my camera, but it's um, really pretty pastel blue, and then I got it in the pink. I was hoping they'd have some in the white, but I didn't see any white because that would have been great to put away to, for a little gingerbread men and stuff, too. But that's the first time I've ever found found that at any of my Dollar Trees. And then, of course, you know, I hit the wood stuff. I found these wood bunnies. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these guys yet, but I thought those were really cute. So I picked up three of those little wooden bunny heads and, um, you yeah, know, do some of those. And I also picked up three that are like, they're like little plaques, they're just calling them decor, but these are nice, actually, you know, solid wood um, little Easter eggs, so I thought they would be fun to do something with. I may do some decoupage or something on those. 
<clears throat> and let's see, oh my god, I found so many nice wood things. And I am definitely going to have to get busy on these because, especially with the small wood pieces, if you see like these small wood ones and you think you might want them, grab them right away because the Christmas ones came and went so fast that they did not last long. That's why I want to get started on these things. I found this little cutout Easter basket. It has a J in it. I thought that'll be fun to do. And they had them with, like, you know, a bunch of different letters. Not all of them, of course. And then I found these wooden, these big wooden buddy butts. I thought those would look great out, like, in your garden or something. If you did these up and stuck them out, like, on the edge of a, a planter or something, I feel like those would look really nice. So I grabbed two of those. And then they had these. These have, like, a whitewash on them. And I really, really like, oh, where's my other one? I really, really, really like these a lot. They're a really nice size. They're very big. They had the little chick. And it just looks like really nice wood with, like, just a whitewash on it. And, you know, it's that MDF stuff. But these are super cute. And they're just so nice and big. These are, let me see, they're about 11, 11 and a half inches tall. So, they're a really nice size. So, I got the little chick, and then I got the bunny. I thought that one would be real nice, too. And then they also had it in an egg. And I thought that was really, really nice, too. So, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these yet, but I'm thinking something outdoors for these, because those are a nice, big size. And then I did find... Well, they had a whole bunch of, like, the um, fairy garden stuff out. This was the only thing I saw there new that I didn't have, uh, or I haven't ever seen before. So I thought those were really, really cool. So I did pick that up. And then these two I have never seen before. These are like those banks. I always get those little square banks to do, like, little shadow boxes in where you can add lights or whatever. But they have them shaped like a house. And this one says, Rainy Day Fund. And has your little slit here um, that you could put change in, but that's usually how I put my lights and things in it. Hook the battery on the back. Um, and you can get these letters off if you want to do something else with them. And then the back, it just kind of opens up. has a little clip here where you can open them up. But I thought that was great. It's already shaped like a little house. And then this one says, warning, she who does the laundry keeps the change. I thought that was absolutely adorable. I may actually just keep this one, but I may paint it and like a light gray or something for down in my laundry room because I am always finding change in the laundry and yes I do keep it <laughs> it's my tip alright so then so what did I do with that other bag of stuff oh here it is while I was at Dollar Tree um, checking out I went to a, one of the Dollar Trees that I'm not really that fond of but it was close by and I had an appointment I had to get to whatever so I went in there and this lady was on her phone as I was checking out and of course she had it on speaker so everybody in the store could hear what she was talking about and she asked the lady where she was and she was at the new Dollar Tree that I had no idea that even opened up which was actually a block away from where I had my appointment <laughs> so anyway I left there I ran over to that one real quick just to check it out and it's so nice and clean and organized right now because it's brand new and I did grab some things there not much because I didn't really have time you know by the time I got over there to look I had to get to my appointment but I found these I've never seen these in any Dollar Tree and these are glass mosaic tiles that you can um, do something with I'm not sure what, but these are fun for little summer projects for outdoors. I just thought these were real pretty. They had them in like these pastels and yellows. And then they had them in more of the primary colors. And um, it just says one or 2.1 ounces. It doesn't say how many pieces are in here. But these were in the crafter square section. And then I got them in this pretty blues. And I picked them up in the black and gray and white. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'm sure they'll be of some sort of fun project. And then I did grab two more of these little um, bird feeders that are really fun to make. You can make these up for Easter, whatever. Great little project with the kids. I had some of these. I have no idea what I did with them. I think I gave them away. Um, I tend to do that. <laughs> Somebody say, oh, that's real cute. So-and-so would love that. I'm like, oh, here, take it. But anyway... 
I do want to make up some of these and hang them out because I love the little bird feeders. I think this would be a great project to do with the kids and stuff for spring or even this time of year to hang out, you know, just these little things outside a window with some bird seed in them. So I did grab two more of those. And that is all I picked up in that store just because I didn't have time to look around. So next week I'm definitely going to go back there and see if they have any more new and exciting things. So that being said, I am going to go get little P and bring him in here to visit with everybody for a little bit. Oh, and I did want to mention my daughter's channel is going to be doing a giveaway. She was so excited. She has been waiting to get to 3,000 subscribers. Um, so now she wants to do a giveaway as a, you know, as a little thank you to everybody. And uh, so if you haven't checked out her channel, go over and check it out. It's listed below here in the description box of my channel. Of course, you know, because she's my daughter and I just put it there. <laughs> but anyway, so go check her out. And uh, as soon as she gets that um, giveaway up, she will notify everybody about it. So let me go get little P and I will be right back. All right, here comes little P. Yes, today is a bat day, huh? Let me raise this up just a little bit, guys. Hold on. There you go. Say hi, everybody. See, I'm being a really good boy right now. I've been so quiet this morning. Unlike the last few days. Huh. Why are you shaking? I know, it's dark and it's cloudy in here, even with the lights on. Look at you shaking. What's the matter for you? Here. I have a piece of your yucca wood. Will that calm you down? There you go. Nothing like a piece of yucca wood to chew on to calm your nerves. All right, well, let's show everybody else what we got at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up, oh, this is going to scare you. I did pick up another dustpan because my husband broke my other one. I don't even remember what he was doing with it, but he split it in half, so I had to get another dustpan for out in my kitchen. Um, and, you know, it's just a dustpan. It works great for a buck. And then, or a buck 25, i got to keep remembering that. I did pick up another roll of the Kling and Seal clear food wrap from Dollar Tree. Um, you get 60 square feet on here. I don't think that's a bad deal. Where are you running off to? So I did get that. Come back. What are you doing? He doesn't want to come back. Are you frozen? What's the matter? Come on. I know, but you can't be over there. He's like, yes, I can. I'm going back. Oh, you're such a little stinker. Anyway, I did get another box of the handled um, kitchen bags, the 13 gallon. You get 10 bags in here, and he is trying to take all the lids off my glue bottles now. This is why you can't be crafting, because you'll get into so much trouble. Get over there. Look, there's stuff you can get in trouble with right there. Yeah, where are you sneaking off to? Oh, did that scare you? Anyway, I haven't seen this package for some reason is scaring him. All right, so we'll go do this quick, Pay. These are the um, vanilla wafers. I love these. You get the little 20 packs with like three of those in there. I haven't seen these in a long time. I used to get these a lot, and these are great just to throw in your purse or something or, you know, lunches, whatever, just for a little snack um, if you need one. And, yeah, these are really good. I like these a lot. I haven't seen these. I don't think I've seen these probably in six months in my Dollar Tree. So I was really happy to see those. And then these I have not seen either for the longest time. And these are the fudge mint cookies. You, you know, if you guys like like the Girl Scout cookie ones, those thin mints. I mean, these aren't quite as great, but these are actually really, really good. Um, so, and much cheaper. But... <laughs> I know, it's to support the Girl Scouts. But anyway, they've gotten so expensive. I love these. So in between, when you can't get your Girl Scout cookies, right there you go. you got your fudge mints, and um, I really like them a lot. What are you doing, sir? You're hanging on the tripod. You're going to be shaking everybody up. Come back. How about if I set this over here in this package that you don't like? No, now you're not afraid of it. What are you after, young man? I don't know. He's not going to stay over here. There's too many craft supplies in this room that he thinks he's going to go get into. But I did pick up a pack of the Halls of Relief. I can't even find Halls in my grocery store. Usually I pick up a pack of these because, my, like I said, my throat is always dry. Between the air conditioning, heat, whatever it happens to be, I have humidifiers running all over the house still. These help me out a lot sometimes. Um, 
But these have a three pack and there's eight drops in each one. So this is great if you just want to toss one of these like in your purse or something too. And they're called new on the go packs. So I grabbed myself a pack of those just to have on hand so I'm not coughing. Come on. What are you doing? You know, he's just sitting over here. Everybody comes to see you and you're being unsocial today. Here, do you want a popsicle stick to chew on? No, look at your beak. He loves to bang his beak on everything. He'll go out to the coffee maker on the counter and he'll just stand there and he just taps it with his beak. Sometimes I think he's half woodpecker. Huh, you've been banging that beak on everything. It's all like white on the edge again. Yeah, are you a tapper? And then you tap back and then he'll go tap some more. Yeah, I'm talking about your nose. This beak. This beak that finally grew back nice, huh, after you broke it off that time. And now you're shaking again. What is the matter, little pig? I don't know. But I guess we'll go, huh, because he's just not happy in here today. I think it's just because it's so dark and dreary in here, and God only knows something he must see in here that's making him really nervous. But say thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.